What if I told you that I'm shooting this silky smooth video on my Sony a7 III, my five-year-old Sony a7 III, without the use of any gimbal? Would you believe me? I mean, it's GoPro hyper smooth smooth, isn't it? But let me ask you this question. Do you think this stabilization level is matching that of the ZV-E1? Let me know in the comments down below. I think it might be even better especially for one thing the ZV-E1 is really good at stabilizing footage that is straight on but if you put it sideways like this suddenly it's struggling it's not handling the, the vibration so well whereas my technique the hack I'm going to explain it's not like I invented it but you know I think it's doing better than the ZV-E1 what do you think? So this stabilization hack I'm using right now on the Sony A7 III, I want to see how much it can take. So if I run, is this? It's faster. We're gonna see if it can handle the vibration of such a super shaky clip be interesting this is my little vlogging rig for the purpose of transferring the GoPro hyper smooth stabilization to the Sony a7 III we have a mini tripod it's the Manfrotto Pixie Evo a dual bracket camera mount to uh, mount the two cameras the GoPro Hero 9 Sony a7 III so what we're gonna do is use a special open source software to take the gyro data of the GoPro to stabilize the Sony footage how to prepare your cameras. We are going to make sure that the date and time of each camera is matching. This will allow us later on when we load the files on the computer to uh, have a much easier time to see which clip is matching which other clip. So here, this is all good. On the GoPro side, you have nothing else to do. But on the Sony, you will need to turn off the steady shot on the IBIS and uh, crank up the shutter speed to at least one over 400. I like to keep the ISO to uh, automatic and of course if it's a very bright sunny day you may need to have a higher shutter speed. You can also set your ISO manually if you want. Next when you're ready to record you're gonna simply press record on the GoPro then on the Sony record your footage your clip and then press stop on the, the GoPro and then on the Sony and now we're gonna jump on the computer to show you how it's done now that you are done with your recordings you're gonna copy your GoPro and Sony clips on the same folder on your computer and because we match the date and time of each camera we can sort the files by date modified which means that each GoPro clip and Sony clip will be next to each other or on top of each other which will be uh, saving you some time we'll see why in a minute next you're gonna go to a web browser and look for gyroflow gyroflow is an open source software that is used mainly by fpv filmmakers to stabilize their footage but it can be applied to uh, any camera really you're gonna open the website gyroflow.xyz download gyroflow follow the installation instructions and I would recommend you to also download the uh, OpenFX plugin for DaVinci Resolve, which is my editing suite of choice. So here I go to the GitHub from um, Gyroflow OpenFX, go to installation, release page, download whichever version matches your operating system and follow their um, installation instructions. Now that you have installed the, the two components, you go to DaVinci Resolve, you create a new project, a new timeline, and you're gonna drag and drop some clips that you want to uh, stabilize. So what I like to do is uh, to first work on my cuts. So I'm gonna choose the clips I want to work with. I was on the edit page, doesn't matter. So once um, you are done with your cut, you're gonna open your toolbox, go to OpenFX, and Gyroflow should be uh, listed here if you installed it correctly. You're gonna drag and drop it into your first clip. So this is the clip C0023. 
and uh, you have your inspector open here you have the gyroflow project little setting area so what I'd like to do then is to simply open gyroflow and uh, I will open the clip 23 choose the matching GoPro clip so just on top of the C0023 we have the matching GoPro clip right and I forgot to mention one thing um, when you first load gyroflow you need to create a lens profile it might already be in gyroflow's database so if it's the case you can just look for your lens so if you don't find your lens uh, listed you could create a lens profile yourself just follow the instructions in my case I found that I had created a profile for my time run 17 to 28 and it actually works very well you're gonna do auto sync wait for the computer to do uh, the auto sync you don't have to change any setting at first this takes maybe I don't know 30 seconds or so a bit more to do the, the syncing so what it's doing is it's taking the gyro data of the GoPro and uh, the software will essentially transfer the GoPro's hyper smooth stabilization to the Sony camera which is quite amazing when you think of it so normally I found that after syncing by default we have a bit too much wobble you can see the the building on the background is wobbling this is due to the rolling shutter and I like to uh, change the rolling shutter correction value to 27 for some reasons 27 gives me good results see the wobble is pretty much gone and from there what I'm gonna do is export the project file including gyro data and you will save it to the same folder so here I have a new file called C0023 gyro flow I'm going back to DaVinci Resolve and here I'm gonna browse and link that new file that project file and that's it now the clip will be uh, stabilized uh, this is the same clip so you can repeat um, the same thing Let's go to the gyro flow load the same gyro flow data this is a different clip so you will just repeat the process add the gyro flow effect and go to gyro flow so for each subsequent clip you will just do uh, the step of loading the sony clip the gopro clip then auto sync correct the range shutter correction if needed and then come back to davinci resolve browse and link the project um, to the clip and uh, that's all that's all there is to it so it looks a little tricky at first but once you work with a few clips it's it's really not that much work i think it's totally worth the uh, extra effort that's the gyro flow uh, workflow If you found this video useful and you want to help me out, you can of course give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more and uh, click the notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.